Calculating missing items is one of my favorite questions, especially considering the fact that calculations are very simple. You're presented with two rows of values. The first row contains values 1, C, 5, and then comes the missing value. In the second row contains values A, 3, E, and then comes the missing value. You need to select the calculated combination out of four different choices. Choice A, G7. Choice B, B3. Choice C, F6. And last but not least, choice D, H8. Take a close look to see if you can do the calculations. Consider pausing the video to better understand the question, because on my end, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to show in comments. I believe the correct answer here is choice A, G7. And here's why. I see the pattern that every letter here is skipped. Let's take a look. If we start with the bottom letter A, then comes letter B, but then we see letter C in the second column. Then comes letter D, which is skipped. And then we see the letter E, which means that the letter F will be skipped and we will see the letter G. Same is true for the numbers, because only odd numbers are displayed. We see numbers 1, 3, and 5. Numbers 2, 4, and 6 are skipped, which means that the missing number is 7. This is why I believe the correct choice here is choice A, G7. Did you figure it out? Or maybe you have a better solution? Please make sure to post your answer and solution in comments. Hi there, this is Vadim. And in this video, I would like to get you ready for the employment assessment test. As you might be well aware, organizations nowadays would like to make sure that they hire the most qualified candidate. This is why they use pre-employment hiring exam to make sure a candidate is prepared to succeed on the job. There are various assessment test questions employers use based on the job candidate might be applying for. The examples are IQ and aptitude questions, logical reasoning questions, math reasoning, numerical reasoning, analytical skills questions, and a lot of others. In this video, I am going to share with you some examples of the questions we frequently see on the test. Let's go ahead and get started. I love this question just because the answer is so unusual. You need to determine the next letter in the sequence. The sequence is A, B, C, D, and then comes the missing letter. You need to select the letter out of four different choices. K, H, F, and G. And thus match choices A, B, C, and D. The answer is very obvious, but only if you know it. Or guess it, as we would have to do in our case. Ready or not, I would like to move forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. If you know letters of the English alphabet, the next logical choice would be letter E, because after A, B, C, and D comes letter E. But choice E is not on the list. But using a little bit of creativity, you can assemble a letter E by combining a dash, which is already in place, with already available choice of letter F. So the correct choice here is answer F. Hopefully you've nailed this question on your own, got a little bit of laugh, and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Here's the question of intermediate complexity we frequently see on the test. You're presented with four shapes, and one shape has a missing number in the middle. You need to calculate the pattern and calculate the missing number, selecting it by one of four possible choices. Choice A, 22. Choice B, 23. Choice C, 25. And then last but not least, choice D, 24. Take a close look at the shapes and see if you can calculate the pattern. Let me share with you my logic and rationale, and obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to share in comments. I think the pattern here is that to calculate the middle number, you need to multiply the top two numbers and subtract one, then add the bottom number. Let's look at the first shape to confirm the logic. Two multiplied by three minus one equals five. Five plus two, which is the bottom number, equals the middle number, which is 7. Let's apply the same pattern to the shape with the missing number. 8 multiplied by 3 minus 1 
equals 24 minus 1 equals 23. 23 plus 2 equals the missing number, which means that the missing number is 25. So the correct choice here is choice C, 25. Did you see any other patterns or found the better ways to solve it? Please make sure to post your answer and rationale in comments. Surprise, surprise! I have a problem for you to solve. You need to find the missing number. And you're presented with three expressions. First expression is 13 by 13 equals 16. Second expression is 15 by 15 equals 36. And last expression, 17 by 17 equals the missing number represented by the question mark. You need to calculate and select the missing number out of four different choices. Choice A, 56. Choice B, 64. Choice C, 72. And choice D, 81. Take a close look, maybe pause this video for 10 to 15 seconds to see if you can calculate the solution. Once you're ready, please make sure to post your answer in comments. This would allow me to give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck solving this challenge. Here's the very unusual question, which tests your analytical skills, pattern recognition skills, as well as spatial reasoning. You're presented with three very unusual shapes. You have a rainbow consisting of four sections on the top and then five squares at the bottom of this shape. Each shape has a unique set of different colors. You need to detect the pattern and based on that recognize shape number four out of four possible choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. This is one of the tough questions. If you are having troubles, maybe pause this video to see if you can come up with the solution. On my end, I am moving forward to share with you my thought process and my solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. When I was describing this question, I gave you a tip. This object is broken down into two parts. The rainbow section has its own pattern, and the series of squares at the bottom has its own pattern. So there are two patterns here in this shape, but detecting one is not enough. You have to detect both patterns. To make things easier, let's focus on the bottom pattern first. Let's focus on the squares. If you look closely and focus on the green square, you see that in the sequence one shape, green square in the position number five. And in sequence two object, it moves to the position number one. And all other objects shift to the right. If we continue to follow green square, you see that in the sequence number three object, the green square in the position number two. So if we continue this logic, that green square should be in the position number three, in the middle of all squares. But guess what? If you look at the possible choices, you see that in all four choices, choices A, B, C, and D, green square is in the middle. So this is not much help. This is why to get to the correct solution, we need to focus on the top sections of the rainbow. And if you look closely at the top sections, you see that there are four colors, one color per each section of the rainbow, colors one, two, three, and four. And if we compare sequence one and sequence two objects, you can see closely that the sections of the rainbow continuously move to the inside. For example, let's follow the red section of the rainbow, which is present on the outside in the sequence one. You see that in the sequence two, this is the second from the outside section. And then in the sequence three, it becomes third section on the inside. So to find the correct solution, we need to look for the red section being the most inside section of the rainbow, which matches choice D. This was a very tough challenge. Hopefully you've nailed this one and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. And now here's a surprise question for you to try your skills. Instead of giving you the answer, I'm going to ask you to calculate the answer and post your solution in comments. You're presented with four shapes. Three shapes are fully populated with numbers and the fourth shape has the middle number missing. You need to detect the pattern and calculate the missing number out of four different choices. Choice A, 22. Choice B, 23. Choice C, 25. And then last but not least, choice D, 24. Take a close look to see if you can do the calculations. And once ready, please make sure to post your answer in comments. 
This would allow me to share with you the final answer and give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck solving this challenge. Here's one of my favorite questions where you test your mental skills as well as attention to details. You are presented with a series of equations and you need to calculate the missing number. The first equation is glove plus glove equals 20. Second equation is glove plus two sucks equals 38. Third equation is glove plus suck plus hat equals 39. And then the final equation where you have the missing number is one hat multiplied by one sock plus one glove equals the missing number. You need to calculate and select the missing number out of four possible choices. Choice A, 135. Choice B, 220. Choice C, 165. And choice D, 360. Take a close look to see if you can use your mental powers to calculate the missing number. On my end, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And if you have a better way to solve it by using your mental powers, please make sure to share in comments. Obviously, to solve this challenge, you need to find the numbers associated with each object. You need to find the numbers for glove, for sock, and for the hat. Let's look at each expression in more details. Since two gloves equals 20, one glove is equal to 10, because 20 divided by 2 equals 10. Let's go to the second expression. One glove and two socks equals 38. Let's do the math to calculate what's the value of the sock. 38 minus 10, which is the calculated value for one glove, and then divided by 2 equals 14, which means that numerical value associated with one sock is 14. Let's go to the third expression. One glove plus one sock plus one hat equals 39. We can calculate the value associated with hat. It equals 15 because 39 minus 10 minus 14 equals 15. Now we are ready to calculate the missing number. And to do that, we need to multiply 15 by 14, which would be equal to 10, and add 10. This is the value of hat multiplied by sock plus the value of glove. So the correct answer here is choice B, 220. Do you have a better way to solve it? Please make sure to show your observations and suggestions in comments. Here's an excellent question to test your math skills as well as numerical reasoning skills. You need to count all $1 bills as well as quarters. And you need to determine how much money does clerk have. You have four different choices. Choice A, $12.25. Choice B, $16.25. Choice C, $18.25. And last but not least, Choice D, $21.25. Make sure to pause this video and count all the dollar bills in the air as well as coins on the ground. Give yourself 15 to 20 seconds to see if you can come up with the solution. I did my counting. Did you do yours? Let me explain you my version of the solution. And if you have a different answer, please make sure to post in comments. I counted 12 $1 bills as well as 25 quarters. Let me count them all for you. Let's start with the dollar bills. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now let's do the same thing for the quarters. Let's start with the left side, which has 15 quarters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, and 15. And now let's do the same thing, but for the right side, which has 10 quarters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And now we are ready to do the math. Obviously, 12 $1 bills is $12. 15 quarters is $3.75. 10 quarters is $2.50. $12 plus 250 plus 375 equals 1825. Did you count differently? Do you have a different answer? Please make sure to post your solution in comments. Here is an amazing question which truly tests your analytical skills. You are presented with four sets of 3x3 matrices. 
Each matrix has nine numbers. And in matrix four, there are three missing numbers that you need to calculate. You're presented with four different choices. Choice A, missing numbers might be 54, 68, and 105. Choice B, missing numbers might be 55, 78, and 97. Choice C is represented by the numbers 69, 80, and 115. And then choice D is 74, 88, and 125. Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe 20 to 30 seconds by pausing this video to see if you can come up with the solution. And as usual, I am moving forward to reveal you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. I think it's very obvious and you probably recognize the pattern that's happening here. Numbers are calculated based on the formula. If we break down the matrix into columns A, B and C and then add numbers to the rows 1, 2 and 3, the formula can be summarized as B1 is calculated as A1 multiplied by 3 and C1 is calculated as B1 minus 4. So to calculate the missing numbers in row 1, we need to multiply 18 by 3, which would equal 54, and then 54 minus 4 equals 50. For row 2, the calculations will be 24 multiplied by 3 equals 72, and then 72 minus 4 equals 68. And last but not least, row 3 is calculated as 35 multiplied by 3 equals 105, and 105 minus 4 equals 101. So the correct answer is choice A, 54, 68, and 105. Here's the practice question for you to test your skills and knowledge. In this question, I'm not going to share with you the solution, but instead I'm going to ask you to solve this challenge on your own and post your answer in comments. This way I can give you my feedback. Take a close look to see if you can find the missing value. Missing value is represented by the question mark in a shape that contains numbers around the shape as well as one number inside. The numbers you see are 12, 42, 129, and then there is a number 3 in the middle. You have four different choices to choose from. Choice A, 229. Choice B, 287. Choice C, 352 and then choice D, 390. Take a close look to see if you can recognize the pattern and solve this challenge. And once ready, please make sure to post your answer in comments so I can give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck! Here's an amazing question to test your business math skills. You're presented with the set of numbers in the compass-like figure and you need to add up all the numbers inside the shapes and then divide the sum by 2. You need to calculate what would be the result of this calculation. And you have four different choices. Choice A, 9. Choice B, 12. Choice C, 18. And choice D, 24. Do you see the answer? Give yourself a little bit of time. Maybe pause this video and give yourself 10 to 20 seconds to do the calculations. I am pretty sure you figured it out, so I am moving forward to share with you my version and obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. The math here is pretty straightforward. You need to do 7 minus 3 plus 9 plus 5 in parentheses and then divide the sum by 2. The result would be 18 divided by 2, which would be equal to 9. And this is my choice for the correct answer. What's interesting about this question is that there's a lot of way to get to the incorrect answer. For example, if you forget to divide by 2, there is an answer for that. Also, if you don't see the negative number and forget to divide by 2, there is a choice for that as well. And if you just forget the negative number, there is a choice for that as well. Which tells me that you have to read the instructions carefully. Hopefully you're one of those people who does it all the time and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. And now I have a question for you to test your skills. You're presented with the series of objects and you need to determine next object in the sequence. Please choose one of the following four choices. Choices A, B, C and D. Do you see the correct answer? 
please make sure to post your version in comments. This would allow me to give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck. Here is a very interesting question to test your spatial reasoning. You are presented with partial square and you need to find the missing shape to build the full square. You have four different choices to choose from to complete the square. Choices A, B, C and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. And on my end, I am moving forward to share with you the correct solution. As you might have figured out, the correct choice here is choice D. And to get to this answer, you need to look at the shape which fits perfectly to match the edges. Since this is the 5x5 five five square, choice D is the perfect shape because it matches perfectly to create a full square. Hopefully you've nailed this question on your own and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Thanks for watching. If the content was helpful, please give us a like and consider subscribing. This is the way for you to tell us that you need more content like this and we'll make sure to deliver it for you in the future. For links and resources referenced in this video, please check the description. You can also go directly to our website howtoanalyzedata.net to find what you're looking for and download the materials. We really thank you for your endorsement, support and patronage of this channel. Please leave feedback, suggestions or corrections in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.